In this video, we are going to discuss how to create an interactive and dynamic dashboard in Google Sheets. So, let's get started. Here we have this sample data set that we are going to use in today's tutorial. Before we start using it, let's have some idea that what this data is all about. This is actually the sales and profit data of an organization for year 2025. This data contains sales date, sales month, sales person or sales representative, the region in which the sales are done, products sold, units sold, revenue, variable cost, margin and profit that company has earned from the sales. Now the question is from where we should start creating our dynamic or interactive dashboard. As the first step, we need to create a new sheet. In new sheet, we will simply go to view tab. In view tab, we will go to show. Under show, you can see the grid lines. We simply uncheck grid lines so the all grid lines are disappeared. Then we will click here in the corner to select our full sheet. We will go to fill color to fill color of our choice. For me, let's say I want to choose this color to fill in all the cells. I choose this color and you can see all the cells are filled with this color. I will go back to my data sheet now. Now I will create different charts and I will bring these charts here in this sheet where I will be creating the dashboard. Let's say the first chart that I want to create is for revenue. What I will do to create chart for revenue, I will simply select the column where I have revenue. We need to select the column or columns that we need to include in our chart. For time being, as I want to create chart only for revenue. So I have selected, I will go to insert tab. In insert tab, you can find the chart. Once you click on the chart, you will see Google Sheet will give you a chart based on your data. This is suggested by the Google Sheet. You can change it, obviously. To change it, you will find on the right side chart editor window. Let's say I want to change this chart. I can go to the chart editor window. Here I can find in setup tab, I can find the chart type. Once I click on the small arrow, I can find plenty of chart types here. Let's say for me, I want to choose or want to make this chart that is scorecard chart. I will click here and the chart is changed into scorecard chart. You can see here the revenue that we have here 15,548, but this is not correct. Why? Because you can see under revenue, the column that we used, we have bigger amounts than this amount. So where is the problem? Actually, we need to go to chart editor window and you can see here key value revenue. Down here you can find a box aggregate. You simply need to check this box and you will get the exact figure of your revenue. Now our figure is 14,340,234. If we talk about the professional presentation of your data, this is not the professional way to present this figure. We simply need to make it short. How we can make it short? Let me show you. We will go to the customize tab. In customize tab, you need to go to the key value. Under key value, you will find here scale factor. I will click here. You will find here 0 0.01, 0 0.1, default 10, 100, 1000, million, billion. Let's say we want to change this into millions. So I will click on million and you can see now the figure is short. Now our revenue is 14.34 million. Here we need to write that this figure in is in million to avoid any confusion. I will double click here. Once I double click here, I'm able to edit it. Revenue in million dollars. Now it is clear. What I will do, I will simply select this. I will take this chart into the other sheet where I'm going to create the dashboard. I will put it in the corner. I will click on these three dots. I will click on edit chart to edit it more. I will change background color. I will go to customize tab, chart style background color let's say i want the background color this one i want the border color let's say black let's say i want the color of this figure that is the key value let's say i want maybe light gray color let's say the heading i want the color of heading maybe gold i will make it bold now let's say this is our revenue in million dollars let's say i also want to bring here the total cost how i can bring here total cost I will go to setup tab and down here you can see this is key value that is obviously revenue. Down here we have baseline value. I will simply click here. I will click on this icon. I will click here. I will go back to my original data sheet and this time I will select the profit. 
I will go for okay. Once I go for okay, you will see here we have figure 11.49 million. This is the cost. If we see here revenue, baseline value is profit. Revenue minus profit is the cost. And the exact figure revenue minus profit is here. So cost is 11.49 million. Revenue is 14.39 million. We need to change this figure because this is cost and it should be, it should not be in green because the common practice is cost is normally represented in red, right? So what we will do, we will go to customize, we will go to the baseline value and let me change it into red. I will change it red all because the cost, we put it baseline value cost here. So that's okay for me. I will adjust the size a little bit. We will go back to our original data sheet to create the more charts. I will delete it. Now let's say I want to create one chart for margin, one chart for profit and one chart to see how much revenue I have every month. So the first chart I will simply select the margin column. I will go to insert tab. I will go to chart and the chart is created. I will simply change the chart type. Let's say again I want to create the scorecard chart. Similarly for profit I will simply select the column. I will go to insert tab. I will create the chart. Once chart is created I will go and change the chart type into scorecard chart. So we have here now two charts, one for margin, one for profit. The third chart, as we said, we want to create chart to see how much revenue we have every month. We will select this both columns because we want to include both columns in one chart. We will go to insert tab. We will create the chart. Once we click on the chart, a chart appears and you can see this is quite mess. How we can simplify it? The same way you can see under month we have aggregate. I will click here. We will take these three charts into other sheet to edit these charts more. I will simply select these three charts. I will cut these charts from here and I will paste in other sheet. Once I paste, let's start from the margin. You can see the margin is 8395. It is quite impossible that we have revenue in millions but we have margin in thousands. So that's mean there is something wrong. I will just click on these three dots. I will click on edit chart and you can see here we have aggregate we simply need to click on aggregate so this is the correct figure 7.4 million we need to change this figure into millions same steps we will do we will go to customize in key value we will select scale factor into millions now we have margin 7.4 million we will add it background color we will change color of the key value the same as we have done here we will change heading color i will double click here we will change heading color into gold we will make it bold we need to change heading so there is no confusion margin in million dollar i will just put it here for time being now i will add it the same way for profit just let me adjust a little bit for this chart, because this is sales by month, I will just double click here. I will change it into millions. I will change the background color as we have done for all these charts. We will change the outline color. We will change color of these titles. I will double click here. I will change color the same as light gray. Similarly for this, we will change color into light gray. We will add here heading so we know what this chart is all about. We will click on chart and axis titles. We will write here revenue by month in million dollar. We will change the color of heading. We will make it bold. So that's it. We will just put it here. We will adjust it. We will go back to our data sheet to create some new charts. We will delete these charts because we don't need these charts anymore. Now let's say we want to create a chart in which we want to compare how much revenue, margin and profit the company earned every month. So we have been selected all the relevant columns that we want to include in chart. We will go to insert tab, same steps we will click on the chart. Once we click on the chart, chart will appear. Now let's say this time we want to use this type of chart that is smooth line chart. Once we click here, we need to click on aggregate and we have here a new chart. So this is chart, just let me add the heading. So this doesn't create any confusion i will write here revenue margin and profit in million dollar so we have here one chart we will create one more chart let's say we want to know how much sales or how much revenue earned by each salesperson so we have been selected these two columns again we will go to insert tab we will click on the chart a chart will appear we will click on aggregate let's say this time we want to create this chart that is the bar chart so we will just add the heading customize chart and titles we will add here revenue by salesperson in million dollar 
let's say the next chart that we want to create is we want to know that how much revenue we have earned from each product so we want to know revenue by product we have selected these two columns we will go to insert tab we will click on chart once we click on chart again the chart is created we will click on the aggregate now the chart is ready we can add here the title so it doesn't create confusion later on when we combine all the charts i will go to customize tab chart title i will write here revenue by product in million dollar so this chart is also ready as well let's say the next chart that we want to create is we want to know how much revenue earned from each region we will select the region we will select the revenue column we will go to insert tab we will go to charts we click on the charts we will click on the aggregate once the chart is created we will change the chart type let's say this time we want to change chart type gauge chart so this chart is also okay the last chart let's say we want to know that how much profit percentage by each product because we want to know product how much profit percentage by each product we will select profit and the product column we will click on the insert tab we will click on the chart the chart will be created we need to click on the aggregate and this time we will go and we will change the chart type into 3d pie chart so now the charts are ready we will simply copy these charts and we will paste these charts into our this sheet where we are going to create our dashboard we will go to the sheet where we have the dashboard we will simply paste these charts here and we will adjust these charts one by one first of all the revenue margin and profit in million we will just click here edit chart we will change the background we will change the border we will double click and we will change the color let's say the same light gray color here double click change color light gray and we will change scale factor into millions we will just adjust it a little bit we will double click on the lines once we double click on the lines we can add here circle we can change the size similarly for this we can add circle we can change the size let's say for this for revenue we want to change the color let's say we want to use the golden color let's say for the profit we want to change the color into maybe green we want to add the circle we want to change the size of the circles so we have this chart ready as well now the next chart this is the profit percentage by product we will put it here we can click edit chart we can change the background color background color we will change we will change the outline color we can double click and we can change color we can make it bold we can adjust a little bit now this chart is also ready i will adjust all these three charts as well quickly So now here we have all the charts in our dashboard. The first chart as we have created that is revenue in million dollars and the cost in million dollars. Then we have margin in million dollar then profit in million dollar. Here we have the chart in which we are comparing revenue margin and profit based on every month. Here we have the revenue by month. We are comparing the revenue every month in which month we have earned the more. Here we have the profit percentage based on the product, which product earned the more percentage and which product earned the less. Here we have revenue by product in million dollars. Here we have revenue earned by each salesperson in million dollars. And the last chart that we have that we created is sales by region. We can see the east region we have the low and the north region we have the lowest. The highest we have from the west region you can see the K is on the green so these are the all charts that we have created in our dashboard now question is how we can make this dashboard interactive and dynamic for this we will have to come back our original data sheet in our data sheet just we will delete all these charts because we don't need these charts anymore we will go to the data tab in data tab you will find an option add a slicer we will click on add a slicer and then we will have option to add any slicer let's say we want to add slicer for the product so here we have one slicer for product let's say we also want to have slicer for sales person again we will go to the data tab we will add a slicer and slicer let's say this time as we discussed we want to head for sales person now we have these two slicers i will simply select these two slicers and i will copy these slicers and i will take these slicers in our dashboard i will go to the sheet where we have dashboard and i will paste these slicers here i will adjust these slicers a little bit 
and now let's say we want to know that for one product for example if i go to the slicer for the product let's say we want to know for keyboard and laptop how much we earned we will just uncheck or clear or we will check the keyboard and laptop and we will go for ok and now you can see our dashboard is dynamic and interactive we have here only the sales data margin and profit data for two products that is keyboard and laptop we can see in keyboard and laptop we have the more sales for the keyboard for laptop we have less sales here we can also know that this is laptop the profit percentage of keyboard is more than laptop similarly here we have total sales revenue revenue for these two products that is 5.63 million similarly we can know that for these two products we have the highest revenue in month of april now let's say we don't need data or we don't need to know by product we want to know by salesperson let's say here we have the slicer for salesperson let's say we only want to know for these two persons so we selected these two persons we will go for okay and you can see our dashboard is interactive we have here sales done by these two persons that is Eva and David and this is data sales revenue earned by these two persons is 2.95 million the margin 1.5 million and the profit earned by $580,000 or $0.58 million so in this way friends you can see we can create a dynamic and interactive dashboard in Google Sheets so friends that's all for today if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends also don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching see you next video bye bye